Hey. Tuesday, March 15th. And what I need to uh, let you know is that um, today the 15th is um, the 10th anniversary of the existence of the uh, record label that released my album. FPE Records. A little Chicago label for practically everyone is what the FPE stands for. Now the label came to my attention because apparently Matt, the guy who um, <clears throat> is the label, caught wind of my channel, started watching me, and uh, said he'd like to send me some of his uh, stuff for review. That's how it started that I became aware of the label. During COVID, well, to back up a little bit, <clears throat> to include myself, so for those who don't know, um, I had released um, a series of records on my own label here out of my <clears throat> home, DVH Recordings, um, several vinyl records, and um, but the last one I put out, I think it was 2016 or about, so when COVID hit, and I was doing this recording and this material came together um, <clears throat> and it felt like it was like becoming an album I thought to myself um, maybe I maybe this is good enough that I might be able to get someone else to to help me release it and I made a list of um, labels to contact about it and uh, what was nice is I, I I'd have to look and see if I still have the list but one of the first labels that I contacted asking if they would be interested in doing a vinyl release was FPE. They said yes. But the reason that I um, chose them among others, I had some other labels that I thought realistically might work with me. I can't think of what Merge possibly. I have a list. I'd have to look it up. But the records that made me think that I could fit on the label possibly were <clears throat> and the, the records that they released that impressed me both of those things I thought I could fit here and this label as impressive is first off Nicole Mitchell Black Earth Ensemble Nicole Mitchell is um, she is um, a prime modern jazz musician, composer, mover and shaker. Um, if I have it right, she is um, continuing like the um, AACM that was started by the Art Ensemble of Chicago. So they put that out by her and I dug that. And then they also put this one out by her, Mandorla Awakening to Emerging Worlds. Um, that's the label, F FPE. You know, the way that these um, were packaged, as well as the um, the daringness of the music. It's not commercial at all. It's like you have to go there to the music. I said, like, wow, yeah, this is cool. Another one that really impressed me and is one of their <coughs> great artists, Sinosopro, Vox. And... Uh, <clears throat> I, t I tend to follow what she's doing fairly daily or weekly. Um, good artist. And um, when I first reviewed this, I, I, I made a comparison to maybe maybe a Black Bjork type, if that would help folks kind of see. You know, she's kind of um, idiosyncratic and um, does a lot of... Um, Creative things. I wouldn't say experimental, but creative. Kwangwa was another release on the label that I thought that I'm that is really good. This blend of, of African and um, well, it's African. You know, it is. It's just really good. Good group. Good music. Kwangwa. So it was another one that I thought. Ah, I kind of this is kind of a cool label. I wouldn't mind 
being on that label. I said, yeah, they're doing some good shit. Avery R. Young, Tubman. I haven't really heard much more about this artist except for this record, which when I first got it, it wasn't. I wasn't ready for it. This is this is pretty intense. It's pretty black, you know, in a churchy kind of way. I, but I don't mean that in a negative way. But um, <clears throat> the, the 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 cover tells you. And um, really, for me, the icing on the cake. Oh, that for FPE to me that said man this is a label I could really be on is turning jewels into water this was my album I think this was my album of the year for the year this came out yes I was saying that and I still stand by that I think it was 2019 map of absences I still think this is something um, Ravi Shmoman and uh, Val Jinti Rhythmically, I think this is fresh, and Rob is just doing some cool things connected with the uh, sampling. But even on his own, just the uh, I'll watch his videos where he does these um, rhythmic things, <clears throat> new patterns. They seem like new patterns to me. Here's another, which way is home? Twelve inch by turning jewels into water. And I thought to myself, yeah, this is a good, this is a good label. I could dig seeing myself. And so that it happened. So I, here's my album. And there I am on it. FPE. So they're doing the 10 year celebration tonight online. A live, not live, but a concert <clears throat> where we artists sent in videos for the show. So I sent in one of, of me performing. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone else at 7 p.m. tonight online. Inter excuse me. Interestingly, they set it up as an, an event bright um, event that you can. Uh, tickets are free, though. I'm pretty sure. You know, it's a free event. But um, I'll put the links. Uh, check it out. So the music I shared to today was primarily. That's it. FPE Records. It's a good label. Check it out tonight, folks. Okay, hope you're all doing okay. <clears throat>